Bing, bing. That came. That music. Good evening, everybody. And welcome to the title of the stream. I'm going to exit out here. There we go. So I want the MC. Don't tell me I've got to come back in the morning for fuck's sake. 7 a.m. Well, bit of a slow start. Right, let's get back here and sleep. Oh, it's just the hustle and bustle of the outside. Alright, let's do a quick save. Wow, I've got a ghost in here. Shutting all the doors for me. Thanks. Now that is morning. I want to go that way. So, hey, what are you oops, excuse me, just getting by. There goes the train. Are you kidding me? Oh, your ass hat. Well, that's buggered. I don't miss this place. At all. I certainly do not miss um, Sandini. I'm going to keep an eye on this door for a moment. Just I'll wait for seven o'clock. It's six o'clock now, so hopefully in the next couple of minutes we can go in. The dog's coming over. Oh yeah, there's still Undead Nightmare to do. Still waiting. I love waiting around. Yeah, I do love waiting. A lot of waiting. I'm fine, sir. How do you do? Hello there. Well, hello. Come on, is it? Is it? Uh, it's my chair. Half an hour.
popcorn. Local dogs are up to no good. <laughs> oh, this is a great start, isn't it? Very slow. Let's cross over and get ready. Ah, 10 minutes in game time, finally. Jesus fucking Christ. I do hate waiting around. Um, doesn't feel right in this game with a pistol. Get to it, chop chop. Right like now, come on. There it is. Finally. Holy fucking shit. Marston, sir! It's good to see you, old bean. Good to see you. And you too, Professor. Forgive me. I am in a state of remarkable agitation, partly due to standard narcotic impulses, but also due to the fact that I have finally solved the riddle that has tormented my mind these past eight years. What's that? The nature of the savage soul! What makes some societies great, like ours, and others, uh, yeah, not worse. I would never use a pejorative such as worse, but, 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 but lesser! Meaning? Meaning. What makes these beings less human than us? Closer to beast on the continuum between animal and god! You know, I argued with Fortescue at Yale about this. It caused a minor scandal. But I shall be proven right, sir! I shall! Mark my words! I shall show them all what civilization is all about. The redskins and the knobs at Yale. Come, sir! I have a way to say both our desires. Oh, God. I you, Vanderlint, and me. The evidence of savages reverting to type! Come, sir! I hope that I hope this means we're going to go and kill him now. Follow me. I asked the stars to bring the horses around front. G -g -g quick, man, quick! My heart's beating like a drum. Try to calm down, calm Professor. Down. I I've never been so excited in all my life. Hello, Hello Professor, Mr. Marston. Oh. Okay, now we're following Astus. This is it! Years of research! What were you talking about Ooh. back there? Where are we going? Nastus has set up a meeting. A powwow, I think they call it. A meeting of minds, of souls. Indians and whites, academics and criminals coming together to find a common understanding. Nastus, this fool's making no sense. Some of Vanderlyn's men have agreed to meet with Professor McDougal up at Bearclaw Cabin. Why the hell would they want to do that? I think they are interested to find out what conclusions a white man has reached on hundreds of years of culture and society from the comfort of his hotel room. Wonderful! Do you think I could ask for a skin sample from the soles of their feet? I don't think that's a good idea. Does that mean that the good McDougal is going to end up dead? Oh, okay. I can live with that. So where are they? Oh, come on! Come on! My goodness, I'm still shaking. What a ferocious animal! 
That bear showed no signs of aggression. If we hadn't shot first, it most likely would have ignored us and moved on. All very well for you to say. Perhaps you have some kind of primal bond with these animals, but I, sir, have nothing but my innate instinct for self-preservation. This is it. Shut up, McDougal. Hi, when this will we had the last standoff? Okay. I expect the um Hello, Professor gentlemen. to get shot. We come in peace. Those words mean nothing coming from people like you. Look at what you've done to us. Look at us! We live like animals, scrabbling in the dirt. Well, I... Well, but I... Well, violence isn't the answer. Maybe you live in a different America than we. Men like Vanderlint will lead you to disaster. I think we've already experienced disaster. The likes which you could only imagine. Put your hands up. We come in peace. But what he says, Marston? You call this a meeting? Give me your damn weapon. This is not what we agreed to. You shut your mouth, you treacherous snake! <laughs> Holy shit! Damn it! Touch! Whoa! Professor, get down now! Why I killed the stars! Yeah! I had to have been the stars. Just keep your head down! Whoa, did he just glitch out? Tempting. Don't count on it just yet. Let's go. We should move quickly. There's plenty more where they came My from. My God, I feel terrible. My head is pounding. Getting shot at will do that to you. I'm completely drained. It's like my body has aged ten years. Stop moaning and run. This can't be happening. Right. He complains, he, he speaks of being a pacifist, yet he shoots a gun right next to me. Well, that's them dealt with. Easy. Well, I can safely say that, that was the worst experience of my life. I wish I could say the same. Blackwater. <laughs> oh, I will never talk ill of you again. Civilization in all its glory, Mr. McDougal. And am I glad to be back? I'm in dire need of a syringe. Something to clear the mind and restore the spirit. So you ain't planning on sleeping then? Sleep? My dear boy, I'll probably never sleep again. <sighs> what a fool. Where are we going up here? Sound. 
Thank the Lord. So much for a meeting of minds. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I could be boiling in a pot right now if it wasn't for you. Get some rest, Professor. And don't waste my time like that ever again. Six PM and five AM. Let's have a look around here because I'm really, really do not fancy. Shame I can't go up that way. That's gonna. Probably cook is going to take too fucking long to get to and get back. I do beg your pardon. Hello. Could do some more stranger meeting um, jobs up here, actually. McDougal is fucking annoying. Fuck it, I'm just gonna save a couple of times. just gonna cheat <laughs> I ain't gonna fucking wait for, for him just get this done there we go there it is X marks the spot Oh, it's you, dear boy. Come in, come in, and shut the door. What's going on? Leaving. You leaving? Yes, sir. Yes, I am, sir. Do you know, do you know the thing? The thing that is vital, without which scholarship cannot proceed, sir? No, I don't. Not having a bullet in your flipping neck, sir. I am not cut out for this. No, I'm not cut out for this at all. <laughs> Nope. They're fucking savages! Savages! I think we all are. Not me, sir. I'm from Connecticut. I'm a professor at Yale. I write books. I do not deserve to die out here. Where's my tincture? Oh, yes. You okay, professor? Oh, dandy, sir. Just dandy. Oh, great heavens above! Is that ah. you, John? Hey, Hello, Dutch. Dutch. <laughs> Welcome back. I think that's what they call two for the price of one out here in this wonderful place. Maybe so, Dutch. You and, and, and your friend there, the professor? We're gonna kill the both of you. <laughs> Why you wanna do a thing like that? <laughs> I don't know. Sport, I guess. Fair enough. Uh, why don't I come out there? We fight. Let the professor go and send your boys back to their family. Well, that, that sounds like a beautiful plan, John. Only problem is, my boys here, they already lost their families a long time ago. We aren't thieves.
excuse, John. <laughs> we're fighting for something a bit like you, only we're fighting for an idea, not just for ourselves. That's beautiful, Dutch. You always were a fine speaker. I was. Now, would you kindly send that academic out here so we can show him what we really think about the art of anthropology? Lisa, what are we going to do? I'm going to hand you over to him and watch him tear you limb from limb. What? I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're going to run across the rooftops. Get you back to your ivory tower. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're still here. Come on. <laughs> oh, oh, good day, sir. Um, uh, madam. Look here, sir. What is the meaning of this this outrage? You two stay down and shut up. He's going to kill me! Stay back! Where the teacher gets it! Nobody can cover! You took your sweet time! How the hell did he get up here? Of course. Here, John, grab this! He dropped his rifle! Christ alive! How many are there? We're completely surrounded! Oh, he's dead. Okay. Right, on this side. Stop playing tough and run off back to mom! Of course it ain't. Oh yeah, anyways. Ah, oh, shoot a hit. Damn. That was a brutal kill. The horses should be in an alleyway down here. Unbelievable. Right, you know Dutch is gonna find us, yeah? Love the Just old west. Let me go! They are. Huh? I can't believe this. They're still chasing us. Not so tough now, are you? Got him. Oh. Got time to greet someone along the way. <laughs> How long have I actually got to keep this prick alive for? Hurry! There's more of them! Come on! Okay. They soon stop. Come on, 
Easy up now. Time to get you out. Yeah. Much as I thought, there's no civilizing this savage land. I could have told you that for nothing. Ah, but they'll give me a prize in New Haven for this. <laughs> well, they bloody better. Well, goodbye, Mr. Marston. Best of luck, dear friend. Okay. So long, Professor. So long, sir. Right, that's this is dead and dipshit here is out of the way. So now what? Oh. Back to Blackwater again. And Dutch was fast to repeat, re repeat, retreat. Yeah, Dutch couldn't wait to get her hell out of there. Did he? Buffalo, whoa! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Whoa. Let's see what Mr. Ross wants. Maybe the case of that he may not be available at this point in time. 7 a.m. How long have I got before 10? Okay. Let's go and help this rando out then. Okay. Excuse me, miss. Something wrong? Does it look like something's wrong? Well, you look kind of upset about something. Perhaps you don't understand what it's like to be disgraced as a woman. To have people gossip about you and turn from you in disgust day after day. People can be real unkind, that's for sure. Yeah, and my fool that I was fell for him. Oh dear. Mrs. Thornton, his wife, kicked me out on the street as soon as I started showing. Mr. Thornton turned to drink. Not even a farewell. Or a dollar. I have nothing. They will surely take my baby from me. Perhaps you could find the dissolute bastard and get even a few dollars for me and my baby to find a home. I would be so grateful, sir. Mm. I'll see what I can do. Oh. Do I get to beat the shit out of some ponds? I like the idea of that. Let's go.
Not through the yard, horse. For fuck's sake. Mind the graves. Disrespectful little shit. Let's go. Easy. Everything okay. So. Right where I'm staying as well. I'm guessing this is the guy. Excuse me. You know a girl named Clara? No, sir. Was she one of the waitresses around here? No, she was a servant at your house. The only servant we had was that wee darky girl, Sarah. And she left to join our people up north. No, she helped raise your children. You and her had a intimacy of sorts. Look here, laddie. I'm not sure what you're accusing me of. I'm just here to enjoy the tables. Mm -hmm. Not to hear expressions against my character. I understand you want to keep this quiet. Just give me a few dollars so she can set up a modest household for her and the child. You put in your mind, laddie, or you're just a common criminal, a nerve are you? You think you can blackmail me or insult me over this piffle? You, outside, no! Oh god, this is gonna be easy. Drunkard. Hmm. What if I walked away from that? Maybe if I move my horse. And then came back. Hey, that's him. Start that. I bet I fucking cannot, can I? No, it's gone. Damn it. Whoa. Stupid drunkard should have moved. Oh. Let's um, fast forward time a little.
how long? Just a little bit. Just a little bit to wait. I really want to get Dutch on this one. Oh, there we go. What do you want, Marston? My family. I've done what you asked. No, you haven't. This is the land of opportunity, and I gave you the opportunity to save your family, and you failed. How could I possibly reward you? Marston? You're a public menace. We should have had you killed. I wish you had. But since you didn't, where's my family? Oh, spare me the noble savage fall on the sword tripe, will you, oh boy? It's nauseating. You don't wish to be dead. You're an insignificant creature desperately clinging on to life like the rest of the scum in this town. Yeah, I know it's tough. You like Dutch. He's a charming fellow. He makes sense. He's like one of those nature writers from back east. Only he takes things a tiny little step too far. Rather than just loving the flowers and the animals and the harmony between man and beast, <laughs> he shoots people in the head for money and disagreeing with them. He's a goddamn killer. Now, I'm not a great intellect, but the metaphysical leap from admiring the flower to shooting a man in the head because he doesn't like the flower is a leap too far. So, I know it's easy. <laughs> you see, we, me and Archer, we're the bad guys. We enforce the rules. Now, while the rules may not be perfect, they're really not so bad. Exactly. What's the alternative? <laughs> See, I'll tell you what the alternative is. It's not complicated. It's about one man and his gun versus another man. <laughs> sure, civilization may be dull, but the alternative, Mr. Marston, is hell. And the way you enforce this civilization, this freedom for men to like or not like flowers, or whatever in God's name you were just talking about, <laughs> is to kidnap a man's wife and son? Well, I know there's contradictions. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> As I said, I'm not a great intellect. Now. After the debacle with the army and the bank, we have to put Mr. Vanderlyn to rest ourselves. Will you help us? 
Do I have any choice? Now that you mention it, no. Then what was that pretty speech in Ado? I don't rightly know, but it sure felt good saying it. <laughs> Shall we, Mr. Marston? Let's go. I just hope Dutch puts you two down before. And the hell is that? This, people, is called an armoured car. Now keep your finger off that trigger until we get out of Blackwater. Go quick! Take a look at this thing! He's got a gun on the back! Oh my born day! I never seen such a I am dragon! That's the devil's work if I have a fight! They told me about these! The army's been building them in <laughs> this killing machine of yours seems to be turning a few heads. Our armed forces have no equal. We have made incredible progress the past few years. Is that what you call this it? This isn't much more than a simple prototype. You should see what they're working on in Virginia. Soon there will be no war we can't win. Mm. The army has made camp a little way outside town. They put word out a large cache of ammunition and food is stored there. Vandalin's gang needs constant supplies, so that should be enough to draw him in. No mistakes this time. You hear me, Marston? I thought you were talking to Fordham. <laughs> he was the one that dropped the fucking ball. Not me. They do look a lot more advanced than What's the, word, the previous one. We spotted one of Dutch's men about an hour ago. I think he took the bait. Let's get in position then. Have your men ready to run them down if you have to. This man, load weapons and get to the sandbag. Move! Are you ready to finish this, Mr. Marston? I guess so. Everybody stay alert. There they are! Open fire! Stop doing that! Oh, wow. Bitch. I've been waiting for this day. <laughs> Keep going. Come on. Oh shit. What the hell? Targets on the horizon. Fire at will. Which one's will? I've been waiting for this day. <laughs> Get in here. More everything. We should have done this a long time ago. They're retreating. Cease fire and mount up. We're going after them. Damn, almost felt that one. Mm. 
Where is he? What the hell? What the fuck happened there? There we go. Shame can't zoom in. That wagon's out of control. It's coming straight out of the cover. If you don't stop that, you ain't gonna live. I should have listened. What? Oh, for fuck's sake. Seriously? Oh. So it seems. I think we need to get him before sundown. As you say, Captain. Otherwise, he'll be gone again. And what if I say no? <laughs> now, before I shoot you myself, let me just point out the obvious. The one person we have left that can appeal to Mr. Vanderlyn is the last person we know who knows him. Your wife. That won't be necessary. Mr. Ross, Captain, let's go! <clears throat> Mount up, men! Let's move out! Wow. I just literally teleported on top of my horse. Oh, that's a bit grainy. That is a bit grainy. Go oh dear. Let's go! Okay. Someone's died. I can't believe Vanderlyn has built himself a fortress in the mountains. He's crazy, but he certainly ain't stupid. You've already seen that place, right? McDougal told me you went up there with that Indian chap. I've seen it all right. We'll be lucky to last five minutes with this many men. Governor Johns is going to be very pleased. Nate Johns? What's he got to do with any of this? Let's just say he has a vested interest in cleaning the filth out of this region. I don't think our old friend Dutch realizes what a great favor he has hmm. done us. Exciting all this hate among the natives. Like you needed an excuse. Nope. Didn't need an See, excuse this is what back then. When you fraternize the savages. How could you ever follow a man like that? How could you ever follow a man like Ross? Vanderland is a psychopath. A murderer and a rapist. Ross don't seem too different. Dutch was a good man once. A far better man than you. So what made him this way? I don't know. Bastards like you. Seeing that things never change. John, I've got a bit of a point. Anything to get you sons of bitches.
inches off my back. There's always somebody watching, Mr. Marston. I thought you'd have gleaned that much by now. You think you're so clever, don't you? No, it's you who thought you were clever. You thought you could just walk away from your own life. Mm -hmm. Make no mistake, we have been watching. Don't speak to me. You're really an ungrateful slut, Marston. Instead of punishing you for your crimes, we are giving you a chance to kill the men who betrayed you. You didn't have to punish my wife, too. Oh, please. She's hardly innocent. Don't you talk about her like that. Oh, I would never talk ill of dear Abby. Do you call her Abby or Abigail? I prefer Abby. No, oh, I like the woman. A little rough for my taste, but very pleasant. I can't <laughs> wait to put a bullet in your head. Shut up. We sent you to Fort Mercer with the simple task of killing Bill Williamson. Next thing you know, you're running all over Mexico like a headless chicken. And now it's Dutch. But he's the last one of your merry band, is he not? Then you can go back to your farm, or what's left of it. If need be, you can always send your wife back out to work. I hear she works hard. Go to hell! This old gang of yours just won't die easily, will it? I wonder how many deaths you are all responsible for. How much money you took from pockets of hard-working citizens? We didn't Thousands. more people with the money we took than this damn government ever did. Good God! This flawed philosophy yours again. If you wish to argue the finer points of ethics, I suggest you learn to read first. And I suggest you learn how to shoot people in the front, not the back. <laughs> wow. <laughs> How long is this ride going to last? Taken for fucking ever. I feel like we're heading closer to Colter. Boom. Forward! Move in! Um. Come on, boys! Everybody move in! Stop shooting at me! Oh, boys! I've seen tougher schoolgirls! 
keep pushing! What the hell is going on? Oh, the game's glitched. Ah, oh, there we go. Got it. Yes. Must admit, the army is doing great. Get down, thank you. Who cares? It's a Gatling gun. Here they come. More of them. Oh. There we go. Do the chain gun cha cha. Okay, that was weird. Alright, where's, where's Dutch? I just hope the women and children got out. Oh, damn. Take care of the wounded. They'll plant charges at the gate. You and I'll provide the cover Poor fire. Poor connection quality, broadcast only, Mick audio. This is it, Stop. man. Let's get that gate down. Keep them covered now, Marston. Hold him off! We need time to set the explosives! Oh, okay, we're... Stop! Leave him Oh no! You lost one! Keep up the fire! Don't you? Uh, let's see what I can do here. Ow! Fuck oh, it! Ah, shit! Oh, fuck! Yeah, okay, um... Hang on a sec. Uh, 